sorry, I'm <laughs> um, well, where we are right now is uh, fortunately, Behavioral Health Services did take over 10 of our social plus care units. So those clients in those units uh, will not have to move or anything. They will continue on the program through Behavioral Health, pay the same amount of rent, and so forth. Those clients were already involved in Behavioral Health Services and had some serious mental health illness anyway. So that it was a perfect fit for them and we will continue to manage their HIV and um, so that worked out wonderful for those clients. Um, the others, we are still in transition. Um, we've got probably nine that we have found placement for either in some other sort of low income housing um, or some income some housing where we've had them to kind of adjust the rent. You know, we've just been very blessed with some of the landlords that we talked to and we explained the situation and several have actually lowered the rent for us um, to get these people in. Um, and then we've got a handful of them that we have not been able to find a place for yet because they can't get anyone to rent to them. So we are still working on that. Um, hopefully this week we'll be able to get them someplace if not, then we'll have to put them in a hotel for just a little bit to continue looking. Um, yesterday was actually my first day back. I've been out for two weeks, so my staff has been working diligently, you know, with me on phone calls to try to get them um, settled. But um, just maybe five or six that we're still working with, but everyone else has been settled and they'll be good to go. We're actually starting to move them today. And